IBM Planning Analytics with Watson stores the data you use for planning and analysis in cubes. This video will show you how to create a cube and how to load data. Creating a cube in the IBM Planning Analytics workspace is simple. To create a cube, you combine existing dimensions. Your user ID must be in either a modeler or administrator role to create a cube. Click the Data and Models tile to open the workspace, then click New Workbench. The content tree shows a list of databases. In this demonstration, I'll create a cube in the 24 Retail database. 24 Retail is expanded. Hovering over Cubes and right-clicking, Create Cube is selected. A Create Cube pane opens, and I type the name of the cube. Cubes require at least two dimensions. A list of all the dimensions in the 24 Retail database appear under Dimensions. Keeping the demonstration simple, three dimensions will be used. Month, revenue, and product will be used in this cube. This cube will allow me to analyze product revenue over a time interval of months. Using search helps find dimensions, but I can also scroll up and down and select dimensions. As I selected dimensions, they appeared under Selected. I can use the arrows to move them up or down, for example, moving revenue to the bottom. Cube order can affect performance. Generally, you put the smallest and sparsest dimensions before the larger and denser ones. In most cases, dimensions with fewer members are put before dimensions with a higher number of members. But this isn't a strict rule, as some dimensions may have fewer members, but are denser because they have member attributes. You can have one dimension with string members in a cube, and it must be the last dimension in the cube. String members are often used in measure dimensions to support adding comments. For this reason, measure dimensions often appear as the cube's last dimension. After all the dimensions have been selected in place, create is clicked and an empty cube view opens. Dimensions appear in the order they are selected. Month is a filter or context dimension. Product is the row filter and revenue is the column filter. Dimensions can be moved around to get different perspectives. Moving month to the column area swaps revenue to the filter area. With this perspective, the focus is product gross revenue by month. A CSV file can be used to load data into the cube. The file contains leaf level values for product, month, revenue measure name, and measure value. To load the cube, select it, right mouse click, and select import data. An import data pane opens pointing to the 24 retail database and the cube. I need to upload the CSV file, and this can be done either by dropping it or browsing to its location. I'll use the drop and click next. A data preview is shown. The delimiter, quote character, and number of header rows to be read from the file are shown. After previewing the data, I click next. In Map Data, I have Import Configuration options. I'll keep the default import settings. The import can be saved as a process. By selecting Save Process As, I am prompted to provide a process name. Creating the process lets me automate the data import. The import file needs to be mapped to the cube. Import made mapping suggestions for month and product. The revenue dimension gets mapped to measure, which contains a revenue dimension member name. Data is the numeric measure value, and it gets mapped to value. Now that my mapping is complete, I can click Import. The number of rows read and imported are shown. After clicking OK, a cube view opens showing the imported data. 
I can select the cube and right click to see other actions I can take. I can create new cube views for specific purposes and consumers, create a script using business rules, apply access security to cells, delete the cube, and more. Cubes can also be created by using an existing cube structure or importing dimensions from a text file. The dimensions must be new. You can review the online documentation for planning analytics to learn more. This completes the video on how to create your first cube.